大家好 Hello, my friends. It's me, Elise Lightyear, and welcome back to my channel. This is vlog number two in a series of me learning Chinese. In this video, you're gonna see me wandering around a quaint little village, really struggling to do my Chinese homework, and then ending my day at a cafe where I make some new friends. Scooter Park. Let's check it out. I am in a cute little village and about to walk into Vision Villa. This place was suggested to me by some of the ladies at the front desk. They say it's got incredible views and a very nice pool. So let's check it out. Wow! This place is freaking incredible! It's super dope. The staff at Omeda are super chill, really nice, down to help you, and will hook you up with the incredible recommendations. I also can't believe that this place is empty. Mind you, it's July, which is peak season here in Yangshu, and as you can see, not a soul, not a soul in sight. So I didn't bring my bathing suit because I just wanted to check this place out to see if it was even worth me giving it a swim, which obviously it is. So best believe I will probably be back here tomorrow morning swimming. But for now, because I have class this afternoon, I'm just gonna have a photo shoot. You know how I do. favorite things to do in China is just to get lost and explore and this is the perfect place to do that. I mean the scenery it's absolutely incredible this is a real old village it's so quaint it's so rustic and it's really really beautiful. This village is called can I say it again? Sha Tong Tun. Sha Tang Tun. So before coming to Yangshu, I read a blog online that said this old manor house is super famous because back, back, back in the day, there was a prince who lived in the Forbidden City in Beijing and he got tired of the royal lifestyle and moved to Yangshu and created this whole village that I'm in right now. And I guess we would call him an ancient day Prince Harry and Meghan Markle situation. He had had enough, he was fed up with the royal life and just wanted to chill. So he came to Yangshu, the capital of chill, and built this incredible, incredible little village. So this may be the oldest door in yeah. all of Yangshu, aging at about 200 old years old. old. my scooter so right here at the school they have scooter parking with the chargers so all you do is plug one side of the battery here and the other side of the battery here and then you scan this code pay one yuan and it starts charging Not just the word? Sentence. Oh lord. <laughs> just the word, no challenge. <laughs> okay. Qian. Mm. I can say. Gay wo fu qian. Gay. Give me. Give me to pay? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I can say wo ya fu qian. Good, I want to pay. I want to pay. Okay, okay one point. Woo. Huh? Yo. John D. Tool, Mom. Ah, oh, do you have a map? 
you have a map. Ah, uh, in Chinese, if you want to ask, do you have something? Normally, we don't need to add the quantity. <laughs> this is a big map. This map is big. Oh my god. Okay. Oh man. Here we are on day two of class and the mental fatigue has already started creeping in. I have learned so many new vocabulary words, grammar structures, and ways to perfect my pronunciation that my brain is swelling. But I am retaining a lot of information and I'm actually seeing some progress. So my second day of classes are officially over and I'm headed right to the study room to do my homework. I've already got my room set up. All right, it is homework time. For today's homework, my partner in class, Herve, and I wrote sentences, five sentences for each other to translate from English to Chinese based on what we've been learning for these past two days. These are the sentences he gave me. Look, if it's not the pronunciation, then it's the Chinese grammar that is probably the second hardest thing for me to wrap my brain around. There are so many rules for me to remember about time and place and where they belong in a sentence that it takes me forever to figure it out. I am missing a whole lot of uh, tone marks because I don't know. I mean, I guess I can take it, I can give it a stab. Pool, I don't know, let's take a guess. Pool, ming, ming tian. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Like this is the problem that I always have is like when I hear the tones, it's always wrong. And then when I say the tone, some most of the time it's right, but then I don't know how to write it. Does that make any sense? So let me read you my translation. I think three out of the five are correct. I'll try to speak in as much Chinese as I can. I don't know how to say number. Isanga. Wu ge niu 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 ren ke hao he de cha cha. Okay, again. Na li yo na li wu ge niu ren he he hao he de cha. What does this even mean? Okay, over there, five women drinking tasty chi. Ah, na na li yo wu wu. Oh my God! I always get I like myself and the number five confused. I wu wu shir mei guo ren five wu yi er sa se wu wu. That doesn't even sound right. Now I don't even know. I'm just doubting myself. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's try this again. Na li yo. See, now I'm just thinking way too hard. This is what happens. And I'm all confused. Di se ge di wu ge. I wrote two different versions of this. And I'm, I'm, I know that both of them are wrong. Ta men. Ming tian. Zao qian. Shi gao xing. Chu gui lin. That don't even sound right. Okay, here's my second option. Ta men, ming tian, zao qian, chu gui lin. They tomorrow morning go to gui lin. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna go back to my room, shower, because I'm gross. I'm, I'm smelly, I'm sticky. All of the most uncomfortable feels is what I'm feeling right now. Plus I have a headache from just like trying to wrap my brain around five sentences. Just five sentences. Kind of dumb. <laughs> but that's okay because Chinese is hard and 
it's not my first language and it takes a long time to wrap your brain around this stuff. So it's okay that I feel dumb. Western Asian fusion restaurant. This place is right next to Omega. Okay, I'm gonna try to order in Chinese. I think I can just say Ma Chada. Ma Oh, Mo Cha Na Chi. Mo Cha Da. Mo Cha Da. Oh, it's a Chinese. So I can just say Mo Cha Da Chi. You're my new lounger, but I'm. Only level one. <laughs> so I'm just learning, just yeah, practicing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, soy bean milk. Wait, yeah. do jian. Do jian. Do jian. Do jian. Chinese可以了 so this one, jada, jada, jada. This is just a pork and rice and vegetable dish. And some kimchi. It's been another incredible day here in Yangshu. I'm ending the day how I've ended every single other day here. Hot and sweaty and about to do laundry. <laughs> so if you like this video, you know, give me that thumbs up or you learned something or you just enjoy watching me attempt to speak Chinese. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, Elise Lightyear, over and out. <laughs>